Things aren't looking good at all. I think I might need to get rid of Hasir at the very least. We only have 300k to do. So, sorry Hasir. Getting rid of you. Still got her left though. Uh, I never like getting rid of people. But I gotta get something going here. And then we'll develop another sequel. Something that's got a really good fan base. Just so maybe we get some hype out of it. Shooter 2, but I think I just made that one. What was... um. Game player. Like race. Race was a good one, wasn't it? 2002 fans that hit number one. It was a really promising one that we released uh, six years ago. Almost seven years ago. Well, no. Month nine. Almost six years ago. I came out for the PC. It was for everybody. Let's go for it. For everyone. And this will be race two. Race. Two. Two. Race. Race. Race, um, race harder, I, I don't know, for everyone, and it's going to be a small game again. Racing simulation for the PC, because that's the easiest one. First one was out on PC, so this one will be out on the PC as well. And IT 3D, perhaps? 3D graphics, that'll be pretty nice for race, won't it? That'd be a pretty sweet thing. That the uh, the first game I think was just what it was like. Uh, I don't think it was even two point five D, was it? It was like the two D version one. It was that was old school. Um, character progression. Uh, I guess maybe we'll cut the gameplay a little bit though. Well, no, I mean gameplay's got to be up there. But then again, I think gameplay is just related to character progression, right? So, really, I mean, story and quests, I mean, we could really get this an immersive racer. Racing for a purpose or something like that, and then it's kind of focused on engine gameplay equally, and about half of that is story and quests, maybe? I don't know, why not? Really, it's going to be a graphically, uh, graphically insane game. Going back to our roots is what this is, really, because we were doing really well, and I think we expanded too quickly too soon. Level editor, yeah, AI, yeah. Level design, dialogues. Uh, uh, and AI's got to be pretty clutch. And level design's got to be cool too. Especially since there's a level editor involved. We really want to go for something like uh, like those Hot Wheels games back in the day. Really cool, big, intricate levels. You're going all over the place. You can make your own. Stuff really made a good racing game. And of course, graphics. Yes. World design. Eh, open world? That'd be interesting. I don't know, really going for graphics here. Mostly graphics. Visually stunning. A benchmark game, if you will. For whatever year this is. This would be like... 1982, maybe. We'll let it iron out. Bugs. Uh, bugs fix. Got another design point. Another technology point. And I think that's about it. We'll call it a game. At the very, at the tail end of year 12, month 3, 41 design, 35 technology, a new, a uh, new record for design. Nothing's really leveling at all though. 3D graphics leveled up. Always good, always good. It's just me and Janice. Feels weird without Nasir. I miss him already. And here's the reviews. Uh, five. I've seen better. Five star games. We only have 25,000 left. Six. I like it from Informed Gamer. Probably should have marketed this a little bit. Or they should focus more on technology. Uh, falls a bit short. All right. You know what? We got to get... We got to get some new topics going here. Cyberpunk? Sure. 2D graphics version 3? Why bother? We have 3D graphics. Stereo sound would be amazing. Ah, oh my gosh. I want all of it. It's all good. It's so expensive, though. Casual games? Maybe. Evolution? Why not? We'll just start researching some new topics. Make something really unique. 
Jormungandr Games has recently released a sequel to their game Race. The newest game in the series titled Race Harder was met with moderate responses. Sold decently in the first week, I mean... I don't think we're going to get back up to where we were, so I think this was a net loss, but... I don't know. And new topic, mystery. Ooh, mystery game. Prison? Like, like Prison Architect or something, maybe? I don't know, that's an odd one. Um, I will research. Multiplayer? Go for an MMO, I guess, maybe? Although I'm sure MMO is probably its, its own thing. Bit of a revival there toward the end. Uh, game convention. Uh... I should have gone to this one developing that medium game before, but I didn't really have money. I still don't really have money. Mm. Completed multiplayer. Not sure if that actually unlocked anything else, though. No. All right. Well, I guess... Another small game. Mystery. Mystery strategy? Like if I was trying to make a whodunit type game, what would what would that really be? I don't really know. Mystery and strategy, I guess. The PC. I suppose. Who done it? Who done it? Who done it? Who done it? 3D. Yes. At some point, I need to redo the engine, but we don't have the money for that. They said I need to focus more on technology, so. That was that last game anyway. So that'd be this stuff over here with the features. I need to develop new features. But the fact that this is a mystery game, I'm thinking maybe that'll do it. Going insane gameplay. I guess you really need a good story in Quest 2, don't you? We'll, we'll focus on the gameplay, though. Back to our roots. Doing doing what we do. Rice Harder is now off the market. Sold only 43,000 units, generating 600,000 in sales. Not Horrible. Not great, though, either. I think Jormungandr Games is on its downfall here in year 12. Dialogues, yeah, and better dialogues. There you go. Something like that, maybe? I figure you need good dialogues. Oh no, it seems that Race Harder had quite a few undiscovered bugs when we released it. Some of our customers are having a bad time with this and they demand that we patch the game. We could either spend the money and time to patch it or ignore their pleas. If you want to patch the game, then click on a character and use the action menu to develop a patch. But make sure you don't wait for too long. Alright, well, I'll, I'll work on that. Sure, of course. I lost fans for developing a patch. Um... Mono sound, yeah. Open world, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I feel like if I were to take this off, because open world wouldn't really make sense. But if I take it off, then I feel like it would take away from the technology aspect. That's something that we really want to focus on, because that's that's who we are. Making innovative new breakthroughs in gaming. Um, graphics and sound, I guess. Bank account is in the red. Thankfully, the bank has enabled me to overdraw my account up to 200000 But be careful. If your account bounces below 200000 you will go bankrupt. Okay, patch complete. There you go. So now I can start working on this game again. Uh, this this game, this game, we're probably going to have to just trash this game. Today, the new game platform DreamVast by Vanna has been released. Unfortunately, we probably can't afford a license for it. I feel like 22 design, 16 technology is probably not good enough.
The Ormangano Games has recently released a much-needed patch for Race Harder. One fan said, I love companies like Ormangano Games. They don't just milk their customers for more money, but also, but also understand our concerns and make sure that we enjoy our games. Mm-hmm. New topic, new combo. Not a great combo, though. This was Mystery Strategy, so maybe Mystery Adventure is what I should go for. Not sure. I should trash it, but then again, I mean, if I release it, then I get some money, don't I? I mean, if I trash the game, do I get my money back? Probably not. We'll try it. I do not lose the experience gained. Right. But I still lose out on the money that it cost. Okay, so pretty much always release the game then. Because even if you get two bucks, you get two bucks for it. So the only thing that could really hurt you is if it's a hyped game that didn't turn out as well as you thought, and then you could lose a lot of fans for releasing it anyway. Alright, so we're really hurting for money, so I'm going to have to get rid of Janus. Back to just me. Um, oh, gosh. I think I'm already done for. I can't do a publishing deal with just me. <sighs> Evolution, I guess. I don't know, this could be a new one. Simulation? Strategy. I don't even know what to make of that. How about cyberpunk action, just straight up? Action goes with pretty much anything. And we'll go for the PC because it's cheap. Going for a 3D engine. Tr Tron. Tron? No. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. I, I have no idea. For a mature audience. Why not? And small. So, because the thing is, is getting rid of people on monthly costs is... Ooh, multi-genre. Ah. Interesting. Because my monthly costs are lower, so... We're okay there, but because it's just me doing it, our design and technology aren't going to go up as high. So I feel like even if I am losing a ton of money, don't ever get rid of people. Because then the more people you have, the more design and technology you have. So what I probably should have done is hire even more people and hinge our success on a major medium title and not hire somebody in toward the end of developing it. Because that really hurt, that medium. Because I hired Janice on like, the tail end. She had no idea what was going on. We just threw her into it. Gameplay, story, engine. I guess, I guess. Focus a little more on the engine. Try to keep them kind of, sort of, somewhat even. Serious financial difficulties. About to go bankrupt. They decided to offer me a deal. Give you 420000 should move me out of the danger zone, but in return I have to commit 840,000 in a year's time. Pretty much have to. So year 13, month 9. We have to have a lot of money by year 13, month 9. Like, a lot of money. There we go. AI and level design. Oh yeah. And a level letter. Yeah, why not? We'll keep all that stuff on. Why not? I just feel like my design and technology aren't going to be high enough. I can't compete with a lot of the stuff that's out there right now. Maybe it doesn't matter? Because back in the day, 1416 was like... Our first race game was about that, I think, somewhere around there. And it was fantastic. But then again, that was a long time ago. Today, I don't think 1416 will cut it. Graphics and sound, yeah. Let's market it a little bit. Ad advertise it in magazines. Cyberpunk, it's new! Generate a little bit of hype while we finish it up. The Vena Oasis is no longer supported. Well, that was in it for a while, wasn't it? Come on, bugs! 
quickly before the hype starts dropping. Eh. Eh. Got it. We're good. Fine hype. Still got a little bit of hype. 25-25. Not bad for one person. New topic, new combo. Great combo. Nice. And everything gets a little bit of experience. Level design's almost leveled up to 5. And graphics, almost level 5 as well. 3D graphics leveled up. And I have almost leveled up. 3D graphics, version 2. Ah, oh, yes. First reviews came in. This is a big one. It's pretty much got to be huge. And it's a flop. A massive flop. Bad. So Star Games. Not much fun from Informed Gamer. Waste of time from Game Hero. Cyberpunk and action is a great combination. But it's still shit, says all games. Huh. Not sure what went wrong there. I guess just design and technology just didn't have the points. Alright. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, we don't have much of a budget at all. Okay, hold on. Let's get a little bit of money from this and see if I can hire out somebody else. We gotta we gotta get going here. Do like hire a couple people, 50k. Let's go game demo. Just kind of all around, just people who are decent in a little bit of everything. Pick up a couple dudes, train them, get a good game out quickly because we're on year 13 now. Balanced, balanced, balanced. Damn, Beverly. Let's go for you. You're all right. Field position. Let's get you training. Welcome training. And field position. The game demo. Another 50k cost. I'm not going to pick up anybody fantastic for this, but whatevs. I need a vacation. Don't worry, we're almost bankrupt. Uh, I guess. Welcome. We we all need vacations or something. Nobody's sufficient. In two months, the master view will be taken off the market. Ugh. Cyberpunk is now off the market, sold 29,000 units, generating 204,000 in sales. Not good. Not good at all. Why, why are you all so crappy and why can't anybody go on vacation? Uh... Right. Okay, well... Okay, well, we just have to. We'll just have to go for it, I think. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Publisher Ubersoft. Electronic mass productions. Any topic, just make it action. I. I I think they'll so kill us if we accept anything like this. Hold on. We'll just have to go with a small horror. Um, actually, let's go medieval. A medieval RPG. For the PC. Maybe doing it on PC is hurting us a little bit. Do we have... Oh, PC's cheap, though. PC's very cheap. Um... Sword guy. I'm great with names. Uh, 3D graphics version 1. I, I think this is the end of Jormungandr games. I really do. But I think I know where I went wrong. And I think I know how to f prevent it from happening. I don't know how to fix it. I think I can prevent it from happening, though. Gameplay, yes. Story and quests. 
No, it's pretty much just going to be brainless, mindless fun. This one. Cut character progression, because, well, no. We'll keep character progression. Why not? We'll keep all that stuff in. We got three people, but none of us are really that efficient. But I don't know. Could be all right. I can't send anybody on vacation. It's kind of an issue. Dialogues don't really need it. Level editor or level design. Yeah. And AI. Yeah. Yeah. I guess something like that. Sure. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Today, Voni has announced a much anticipated successor to their popular Play System console. The Play System 2 will have upgraded hardware to compete with newer generation consoles such as the Dreamfast. Damn. Unlike the Dreamfast, the Play System 2 does not focus much on online play, but instead seems to focus on the strengths of the previous Play System. A solid upgraded controller including vibration function, upgraded graphics, support for DVD titles, and even backwards compatibility with Play System 1 games. Damn. Yeah, this is not good. Unfortunately, you are bankrupt. Yeah, that killed us. Mwah. We have just got confirmation that Jormungandr Games, which has been in financial trouble lately, has gone bankrupt. It appears that Electronic Mass Productions, a behemoth in the gaming industry, has purchased the remains of the company. A spokesperson of Electronic Mass Productions said, We are very excited to have acquired the rights to all of Jormungandr Games' previously released titles. Hearing the news, many fans of Jormungandr Games have expressed their disappointment. This is the end of your journey. Can either load a save game, restart this level, or start a new game? Restart level? Oh my gosh. Wow, this is convenient. Welcome to your new wild. This is like race, just dead huge. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, we can do this. I thought I'd have to restart completely. Welcome to your new office. Bigger office. World-class development. Can also train myself and staff. Right. I have to do the management course, so we'll do that. Train. Staff management. Go. Eggs, yeah, this is race. Race number one. Fucking A. Jormungandr Games at the height. Race was a surprise hit with players. Developer Jormungandr Games is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. So where are we then? Okay. All right. All right. As far as... Oh my gosh, the Venho Oasis. This is way far back. As far as like genres and stuff like that, what do we have? I'm able to hire my very first employee, fill position, visible near the big table. Hold on. Right, level editor, let's get that going. Fill position. We're hiring some bitches. If I can hire someone, I have to advertise an open position. Right on. Right. Game demo, just straight up. Get a couple well-balanced people. I could get like a fucking giant hero behemoth guy if I wanted to. No, let's just go... Let's just go 100k. I mean, I get some pretty balanced people at 50k. 100k could be good. Pick up a few. At 100k, just all of us know what we're doing and make a first medium class game. Who knows? Search for the open position is complete. Can now review the list of applicants. Don't forget that I can always train my employees to improve their skills. It seems that Jormungandr Games has recently moved into an office in a well-known technology park and is now searching for employees. A company which is known for games such as Race and, Bip and Blips and Beeps has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. One of the many fans commented, I can't believe that they didn't have a proper office until now and those games created by only one person. I'm really looking forward to their future games. Right. You. 18k per month. Okay, let's 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 get a little higher of a budget next time around. We'll get Damien Silva. Yay. Right, we gotta train them and we can research medium games. Right, train. Welcome aboard. Are you done yet? There you go. Research medium games. Big money, big money. Race is still generating a little bit of money, though. Can I hire up to four people in this office? 
Don't try to hire everyone at once. The staff are expensive. Many rookies hire too early and go bankrupt. The best to take is I took it too slow last time, I think. We're going aggressive. We're going really aggressive. Let's go 150,000 on this one and game demo. There you go. You good? Alan Lowe, Colin Morton, Jane Lean, 137, 262. 46 253 229 170 so let's like 400-ish average everyone's at about 400 average okay that much speed on you 239 202 well jane leans the way to go i'm thinking go for that Welcome aboard. Some really dedicated fans of Shooter, all like eight of them, have created a game using a lot of material. Right, let them be, because they don't make any money. Let them be, and if they're good enough, we'll hire them. That's why I look at it. Race generated just under three million in sales. It's so good. Training is important. Right. Right. You just you just need like vacation or something. You need you need help, sir. Welcome aboard. Research ninja. Do do do. How many fans of shooter did we have anyway? That was way long ago. Sixty three. Yeah, hit top fifty though. The Vano Oasis has been released. Good for it. I think we're going to stick with PC, though. Follow the progress of your Magana games for a while, and it seems that with your recent expansion, expansion, you have started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where publishing can come in handy, right? Yes, we will be doing that. Now accessible, right. I just want to get us trained up and ready to go. Are we researching better dialogues already? Maybe not. Looking to make a breakthrough game. Denise Ride, the main developer of the shooter fan game. I've recently been informed your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. Best company in the world. Glad to be a part of the fan. Gain two out of three fans. Yay! We're awesome. Uh, started to grow your team, updated the client list, contract work, right, and medium things have been unlocked. I guess we could do a quick contract work just to see how we are. Maybe five weeks for play test. Let's go for library software. That's an easy one. Get these bars up there. I think they fill up over time, I'm thinking. Oh my god, really? Are we really going to lose out on library software? Oh my god, we're horrible. Ugh, people are so distracted. Too big of a job, that's 13k gone. Ugh. Alright, well... Eventually that'll be going up. We'll train... Game design for pirates is really good for design. Let's go for... Oh, I don't have research points. Oh shit. All right, well, we'll just wait. I need to pay back 190,000 in three months time. Oh, that's right, because we, we hinged our success on race and it paid off big. All right, well, they're doing pretty good. So let's uh, find a publishing deal. Large audience. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Right, royalty rate right, and all that. Horror, not research. Can't do that one. Business, not research. Can't do that one. Dance, not research. Can't do that one. And horror, not researched. Wow. All right, fuck all of you then. Fine. We'll do a small game then. Damn. 